Hi guys, welcome back to Brit's life. So today, as you guys can see by the title, today I'm gonna recreate Sabrina Carpenter's makeup look. And I've been seeing this around my TikTok. I know you guys have two um, beautiful ladies recreating Sabrina Carpenter's makeup look. And I decided to try it out to see if I can recreate it and to see if it actually comes out because um, obviously her makeup look, like she's so beautiful. She looks like a porcelain doll, like a doll. And um, yeah, who doesn't want to look like that? So I just hope that I can do a good job recreating her makeup look. And yeah, I'll stop this rambling on and get right on to the video. I am gonna start off with my eyebrows. She does her eyebrows really full and um, they kind of look laminated a little bit. So that's that. I'm going to take a little bit of this pomade that I have. It's in um, wax for obviously your eyebrows. So we're just going to run it through our eyebrows really quick and just leave it to say. I know they look crazy, but we have to like literally... Um, run it through all of our eyebrow hairs that way the thing grips all right and then what i'm going to start doing is brushing up my hairs while the other one is sitting a little bit i haven't done this in a while i i know i i used to do this a lot because i would like my hairs to be so like full and laminated but i haven't done this so let's see how it comes out I'm gonna do my other one really quick. All right, there's that, my eyebrows. I'm gonna fill them in a little bit with some of my e.l.f. brow pencil really quick. I'm just gonna fill in the little blinks that I have, just that way they can look full. And like I said, this is what she does. This is what I've seen. I'm also going off of the pictures that I found from Pinterest and um, kind of going off of base on her eyebrows there. So I'm gonna insert the pictures for you guys here where you guys can see what I'm talking about because that's what I'm trying to recreate. I'm also wearing the espresso color. I had a going theme a little bit, so <laughs> a little cheesy, but I like it. All right, then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. concealer. I'm in the shade light beige. All right, there it is, it carves out my eyebrows. I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush really quick just to like buff out the rough edges and we're gonna come back to the eyes because we're gonna do some we're gonna do some eyeshadow with it them up but um so the important part is the skin prepping okay so let's get started I'm gonna use the power grip elf um primer <laughs> We're gonna go with the Sun Touchable, the Sun Touchable Woe Glow by Elf. This is the um, SPF 30. I don't know why I'm not showing it. I have a little bit on my hands already, but we're just gonna spread that and tap it into our skin. And like I said, we need it extra glowy, so we need sunscreen to help us with that because sunscreen makes us glowy makes us glow 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 so this is what helps me i know some people you know like to use a super goop super goop is i haven't used it much but hopefully it's good enough for your skin whatever you guys have so these are not the products that sabrina carpenter uses but i'm trying to recreate it with the makeup that i have that i can use that i know that i can get this look so you guys can see all right so I'm gonna use the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is ELF. And I'm using it in the color 4 Medium. Cause 
that's the shade I am. I'm gonna go in with my brush, just blend it in. That way you guys can see the actual glow it gives. And guys, I used to be an oily skin girly. And um, I controlled it and you know, my skin isn't as oily, but also back then I didn't know how to take care of my skin much. And that's why I couldn't use these products. So just take care of your skin well and balance it, you know, it's kind of a learning process on your own trying to help your own skin because we don't all have the similar skin i know we have skin types but we don't all have the similar skin but it's a working process on um your skin type so yeah that's all i have to say it's a struggle it is really a struggle but once you get it down i trust it's going to be easier but this is how my skin looks it's already glowy all right i'm gonna use the rare beauty uh tinted moisturizer this is in the shade 22w it's so pretty and you already know i love selena gomez and i'm not gonna use a foundation i know mostly people use foundation but i've been loving my skin tint or um my cc cream <laughs> oh my CC creams lately. Dang it. Not this ruining the whole. Give me a second. Let me clean this up. Okay, guys. Just ignore that for me for a second. <laughs> this is the thing sometimes with like. Um. Not paying attention to what you're putting on your face. Because clearly you just. It's up your shirt. It'll take, it'll take off. But anyways, let's just blend this out. I'm using the same exact brush. It's a flat foundation brush. Um, I got it off Amazon. This is how it's looking so far. The skin tint with the Halo Glow uh, liquid filter. I love it. Chef's kiss with the glow. But I'm going to go back with the same concealer, same shade. I'm going to put a few dots. Put some on my chin and a little bit on my forehead as well. So besides the skin prep which that's you know the base what you're working on we're gonna step into the contour and the blush which are important especially the blush and this um scent since obviously we are recreating Sabrina Carpenter's makeup look so I'm gonna take my halo glow I'm already opening it up before I tell you guys but I'm using this halo glow beauty wand by elf it's contour obviously and this is going to give us the glow that we want again but usually i put my contour high up i usually put it right here to make my skin or my face snatched my skin my face snatched and um in this case sabrina does not she actually puts her contour lower so she actually starts oops Let's take a little bit more part of it though. Okay, she actually starts from below here. So she actually does her contour a little lower. So let's see how that works out for us. Um, I'm a little bit scared. I haven't done my contour like this in a while. And I think I put too much. So um, let's bend this out. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna spread it on my uh, forehead a little bit. And take some of it and probably spread it down my um, my neck as well. Okay, let's blend <laughs> let's blend this out, and I'll sh I'll be I'll be right back because I think I put too much. So, okay, guys, I got a little scared for a second. I thought I put too much. I was trying to spread it, but um, I think I was exaggerating just a tad bit. <laughs> That's that. That's her contour, you know, not bad. 
But the part that's going to be the important part is the blush because that's why she does her contour this way because her blush she puts it right on her cheekbones, right on her cheeks to make it pop. Actually, before I put the most important put the most important part, my bad. I'm gonna do a little bit of nose contour really quick. I just put glowy. You can tell. Yeah, I'm a little scared for the blush. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I don't normally do pink blush, so I'm a little bit scared of how it comes out or how I look with pink blush. I know I've tried it before and I don't really like it and I haven't given, given it a chance ever since so this is my time to see if I like it or not. It's even my time to shine or not or to fail completely so besides all of that let's just get into it to see if we like it or not. Okay. Like I said again, I don't normally do pink blush, so I had to borrow this from my sister. This is the color pop. This is the color pop stick in the shade Mini Me, and it's the pinkest that I found. So that's that's the shade. That's the pinkest because my blushes. I'll show you. I have the rare beauty blushes. I use. This is my blush color. It's um, this one's Joy, which is like a peachy, and this one's Love. A little bit. Okay. Let's not think about it and let's just do it. She puts her blush right on her cheek. Oh, I'm gonna do two dots right on my cheek and a little bit above, right there. All right. And I think it's really fun. I think it's fun that, you know, Sabrina Carpenter brought this new, you know, porcelain cute makeup look because, you know, it's trending, it's beautiful. She looks beautiful. Um, yeah, super cute, coquette type of vibe. I, I've actually been a Sabrina Carpenter fan before she was Sabrina Carpenter, <laughs> before she was a singer. Um, I actually watched her in Girl Meets World and it was my favorite show of all time. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more blush. I might go a little crazy, but I think we need more. I think we need more. But yeah, like I was saying, I was a big fan of that show. I loved her in that show. I was so obsessed. So, so obsessed. I think also because maybe I was you know, around the teenage age, around that show. Yeah, that's the pink blush. I don't know, it kind of looks really nice. Like I think the pink is not like super duper pink, which I know she uses like a super duper pink, like a bubblegum pink, like, like maybe my headband or even more pink. I feel like but I think this pink does not look bad but we're not finished yet so yeah that's that's this for now <laughs> um but let's keep moving let's let's finish this look I'm gonna take my revolution sports fix I'm gonna spray my face because we are going in with the powders rejuvenates your skin um, I'm gonna go in with my NARS bronzer um, this is in the shade Lagoon put it in the same place just powder this has a little glow on it too that's why I'm using this one it has a little little sparkly glow there's that I'm gonna take my translucent revolution powder really quick and um, I'm gonna take my puff and just Kind of go in the regular places, you know. Right on your concealer, a little bit on your chin, a little bit on your forehead. We're not making it like super um, powder because obviously we still want that glow. 
Um, I'm gonna take this High School Musical <laughs> ColourPop line that I have. This is Freaky Genius Girl. And this is the pinkest that I've had that I've bought that um, I haven't used very much, but we are using it today because obviously it's the infamous Sabrina Carpenter and we have to make this as pink as possible. So I'm gonna go in with my same, you know, blush brush. I don't, I don't know if I showed you, but this is my blush brush. It's like an angled, puffy, cute little blush brush. Whoa, this is very pink. Wow, I think I'm actually, am I liking this? I'm not liking this pink. I think I'm liking this pink, guys. And I think you know what does justice is the ColourPop cream underneath. I think is what's doing doing justice, honestly. Okay, guys, this is the base. I think I really like it, honestly. Now we're gonna we're gonna recreate her glittery um, eyeshadow look as well and obviously the lips so let's do this and it's these beautiful two um brown shades i'm gonna just put that in my crease really quick for it can give me some color all right there's that a little bit of brown in my eyes i am gonna use this flat brush to help me with the uh, glittery shade and that obviously is this pretty little shade um i'm gonna just kind of go in my other corner it's very very glitter bring it down to my inner corner we're gonna all right we're gonna wrap it up we're gonna do our lips and then we are gonna do our eyelashes because i forgot about my eyelash too and then, yeah, finish with the final look. All right, the lips are next. I'm gonna really quickly jump into that. Um, I'm gonna use this NYX lip pencil in the color New Truffles. Um, it's like this pretty brown shade. I'm gonna put that on first because I'm gonna layer it. Alright, what I'm going to put on top of it, it's also a NYX pencil. The color is... F I'm going to take this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Balm. And this is in the color Bless You Berry. And then I am going to go with this ColourPop So Juicy Gloss in the color Beechwood. And just top it right on top. Just like that. This is the lip combo. That's that, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera, and I'll show you the finish makeup look. All right, guys, this is the final look. I tried my best to um, do my hair a little bit like her. I know I don't have the bang layered look, but um, that's the best that I can do. Makeup look. I'm proud of it. I think I really like the pink blush. It makes me look so cute. And yeah, I like it a lot. But yeah, guys, just know that you guys can probably do this look too with some products that you guys have at home. Um, and just kind of give it a little bit of your own twist. Um, I probably didn't do exactly how she did it, but recreating it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed very much doing it for you guys. And yeah, I enjoyed and love it so much and I probably will fit it into my own routine because this looks cute. It does. But thank you guys so much for watching, for staying this long in my video. And um, I really enjoy making these, video these videos for you guys. I've been in love with doing makeup for a really long time. 
since I was really young and I've been doing my YouTube channel for a really long time I feel like my makeup has grown but that's that and unfortunately this is the end so until next time guys peace